monkeys, it's Alexa and I'm continuing with the life-changing magic of tidying up. This time I'm doing komono, which is the miscellaneous category, and I'm here in the bathroom. I'm really happy with what I've achieved and I hope you're going to be inspired as well. I'm actually standing in the bathtub because this is a very small bathroom that our family of four has used for many, many years. So this goes to show that it's not about how big your house is or how many people are in your family, you can't achieve it. You're gonna see the before and after, the things that I've eliminated. I must say this breaks Marie Kondo's rules because she doesn't like things being stored in the bathtub. I agree with her because it's true, this is not even very old and it's already starting to rust. But at the same time, I'm going to keep it here until it completely dies. I'm about to embark on the KonMari method for this komono, which means miscellaneous items that all come from the bathroom. So we're going to see what we can eliminate in here and how much space we can gain. I will say I have done this for some time now, so uh, or decluttering, not KonMari. Um, so definitely have reduced things a lot, but there's more to be done. I have emptied out most of the spaces in here. I have cleared off the shelves. You can see some of the broken spots in the molding. This had probably the most surprises in it. Cleared out all these shelves. Oh yeah, it's bad. This window has been bothering me. It's got a curtain on it that I, I kind of hand sewed it, so it's all raggedy. This is an invisible magazine rack. It's probably one of the few things I would say you should definitely go to the corner store, the container store, I'm sorry, and buy. It's these brackets like that. Isn't that cool? And then you can hang all your magazines and you can recycle them. Um, you know, once that rack gets full, you just recycle those magazines and you're done. So here's a rather overwhelming pile of what I had assumed would not be that much stuff. We've also got a lot of duplicates, which is something that Marie Kondo does talk about. She talks about hoarding and how people end up with, with huge quantities of certain types of toiletries. So we, we actually have a lot of toothpastes and a lot of shampoos. I think that's empty. Okay. I'm debating about this little bathtub thingy, this little storage thing. I've never sort of found the ideal stuff to put inside of it. I love it. I kind of hang it on the wall, and it's kind of awkward how it's hanging on the wall, but I, I kind of love it. I, say, I just said I love it, didn't I? This. Does this spark joy? No, it does not spark joy. I'm kind of looking forward to getting it down to the absolute essentials, just because I think, just like with the closet, it's really going to reduce the noise of potential choices that are in my face in the morning, and I like that idea a lot. There are things that are almost empty that have taken years to empty. For instance, this. I think there's a tiny little bit left. That is literally, that could be a decade in the emptying. <laughs> this, every time I had used it, it flakes off. Electrolysis, very painful. This is a sonic brush. It's dirty, it's gross. Whew. Apparently it works. Anyway, I've emptied out both of these little travel bags. So all these hair bumps I think can go because they're a little bit difficult to use. So this is where you get into those traps of decluttering. I decided to then start sanding and scraping paint. It, it, it won't take too long, but I'm having that moment of thinking, huh, maybe I should have a professional do this and just be done with it. Not a professional, but you know, anybody other than me. <laughs> window which is definitely going beyond 
what Marie Kondo would ask for. She's not certainly talking about home improvement, but having cleaned out this bathroom and eliminated everything that was in it that didn't spark joy, um, I'm. I also have uh, you know opened up some space to clean to paint the cabinet and paint this window, which has been driving me crazy. It definitely did not spark joy. Um, it sparked uh, sadness. So <laughs> now with my window painted, I'm actually right now feeling great joy, even though this was a drag to do, because finally I will look at this window and just see beautiful white paint. But one thing I'm finding is that as you open up the spaces in your house, you're able to clean them out and make them look nicer and find little ways to give you joy that hopefully, uh, none of this is costing me any money. I had this paint uh, in the basement and um, you know, I have the tape, and so none of this is costing me any money, but it's gonna give me more joy than, say, going to Bed Bath & Beyond and buying new tchotchkes for the bathroom. So I gotta let these things dry. take you on a tour of my bathroom. I'm so excited with how this looks. So here we have the sink. I've polished it up. There's really no big changes there. So this antique cabinet came from another house that my husband was demolishing and I loved it and I said, oh, I want to keep it. And we ripped it out and put it in this bathroom. We also put in the, the wainscoting. This shelf now just contains a lotion bottle and then the toothbrushes, and I even had space to put a little flower. I took an old doily that I found. Those are really beautiful antiques, and I threaded it on the rod. It's the simplest curtain ever. Here, I had the idea to get some mason jars, since I have a whole bunch of those that I uncovered when I was decluttering the kitchen. Then here in the bathtub, I also was able to eliminate a number of items. I'm gonna put everything back into the freshly painted cabinet. This definitely sparks joy. This is for removing warts. Doesn't spark joy, but it is not mine. This contains two face creams that I don't use too often, but I do need them close by. Then we have the next level. Deodorants. Some cream, face uh, makeup setting spray, hair oil, ibuprofen, and sunscreen, and my husband's razor and dental floss. And then on the bottom level, we have lotion, face wash, mineral oil for removing makeup, and hairspray. And that's it. That's all that's in the cabinet. And then this bottom area is now empty, and I could put my makeup kit in there because that's what I use in the mornings. Take a look at this storage area. These items, this is hair gel that I don't use, but uh, other people in the family do. This is some cream that I occasionally use. There is some tanning lotion and some bug spray over there. This is my makeup. I use this every single day. And then this is also items that I use. And this is this dip tray that I mentioned. Um, so there's some bobby pins. Those are some new soaps that somebody gave us. Next level, I was able to put the keep only one hair heating implement, which is the wide barreled or big barreled curling iron, I love that. Um, bathroom cleaner, there's some medicines and some rarely used things in this little basket over here. I'm quite happy with, let's take a look at this. One thing you'll notice about this bathroom is there is no counter space. But anyway, this looks a lot better and I cleaned it off. It's got some hair stuff, eyelash stuff, nail stickers, and eyeshadow. That's really, most of my fancier makeup is right there. Then the next level contains some things for my boys. This is all first aid type items, including a poison kit, garbage bags for the bathroom. And then this contains all travel sized items. This is basically ready to go. I like how I can see everything in it. And this bag was a first aid kit. And I was able to consolidate the items from the first aid kit and put it in there. So monkeys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm really having a great time going through this KonMari process with so many of you here on YouTube. And I so appreciate the comments and 
questions and likes. So thank you for continuing to do that. As you know, I'm also a musician as well as being a mom, so there's a great assortment of videos on this channel. But I'm really enjoying this process and I am beginning to feel the life-changing magic. It actually is happening and I do hope that when this process is over, I will experience some new freedom in my, in my lifestyle. I'm already feeling it right here in this bathroom. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you over the next one. Thank you.